Greetings again. This is your favorite DJ slash Let's Player Sonic Blue Darkfold, and we just finished checking out the rest of Snowhead when the snow is all melted. Now let us go and warp because there's one thing I'd like to show you. One thing that I would like to show you. Let's go ahead and get out your ocarina, play the song of soaring. We're gonna head back to Clock Town. I want to show you something. This is what we will call fun with Darmani. This is going to be another way you can get a heart container using Darmani as your guide. I figure we got another day and a half to go. Might as well make the most of it while we're here, right? Right. Now what we need to do is first get out your Dor uh, get Darmani Link mask. Become the Goron Link. Be the Goron. Oh, and watch this. Watch the dog's reaction. You're scaring the dog! How could you? You're scaring that dog! Look at that dog running around wild. Yeah, look at him! He's afraid of you! You can't even pick him up, either. Roll over him! Up oh, there he goes. That's cruelty to animals! Ha 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 Yeah, isn't that sweet? Okay. Let's go ahead and deposit our rupees first. I had my fun with the dog. Okay. Now, as Goron Link, I'm going to deposit my rupees. And she goes just by the stamp on your head. She knows exactly who you are from that stamp that never goes anywhere, and you never see it anyway, but that's okay. Depositing 200, we've saved up over 1,000, and we get 5 rupees. Ooh. Oh, that's what we call interest, yeah. That's what they call interest, all right. It's not very interesting, if you ask me. 50 would be interesting. All right. You want to have some fun with him, other than chasing a little defenseless poor little dog around? Actually, let me go in here and get five more. Hey, get out of here. Five more rupees, so that way we can make it ten. I feel much better getting ten rupees than five, don't you? Ladies and gentlemen, this just in. Sonic Blue Darkfold must make a belch. <coughs> there we go. Okay, now, here are 60 rupees right here. They show up on the, uh, at uh, 6 p.m. on the second day, but they disappear any other time. So if you want 60 quick rupees, jump in the, jump in the water here. When it's past 6 p.m. on the second day, you'll find yourself surrounded by rupees. And now let us be on our way. Now here we are in Termina Field. What we're going to do is we're going to find four different holes. Let's start over here and see if we can work up some magic jars and get to our destination faster. There we go. See? I think that was one of them, wasn't it? No, that wasn't a hole. That was a shadow. Get out of there. All right. Now. Our first hole is coming up right over here near North Clock Town. You'll find it right over there. See it? It just went by. Jump into this hole. Now, where that big stone is, stand before it, get out your drums, and play your patented song. Oops, backwards. Play the Goron Lullaby, and play it the right way. You'll notice that stone turns red, has a hissy fit, and stays red. Now watch this. This is the ma where the magic happens. We go to the next hole. And that will be marked by a giant boulder. See it way in the distance? That's our next hole. We're going to punch it. Then jump right on in. And do the same thing with the next large one you see. Stand before the large one. Get out your drums. Play the patented lullaby of the Gorons. And now both the red ones will have a hissy fit. I'm sure you see the pattern already, and you know what to do now. Go into our third hole. Our third one will be way over here. This is going to be near the observatory, so 
Actually, let's go to this one. It's closer. This is the next hole. Right up here. Somewhere. There it is. Jump down that hole. This is a third one. And watch out for the spider. Get out of my face. Now. Yes, watch out for any spiders that might come down upon your head. Now all three of those are going to have hissies. And for an extra added bonus, grab that magic jar and let's be out of here. Now the fourth one is right by the observatory, so let's go to that one next. This is the only way to travel fast. I wonder if I got my rupees already. No, I didn't. I'll collect these right, right away. I might as well. Hey, come back here. Now, your next one is right up here in the corner. Right up here. See it? We're going to go down and get our next heart container. And there it is. The last one. Get out your drums. And you guessed it. Oops. In fact, I'm right up on top of it. I hope it doesn't mind. Maybe it's deaf and it needs to be closer. I don't know. And there they are. You have just turned all those stones red and caused them all to have spaz attacks. You should be very privileged. Privileged enough to win a heart piece or a heart container. Piece of heart. Yeah, I had it right the first time. You've won a piece of heart for your efforts. Now leave here and I'm going to show you another heart piece we can grab. This one will be found inside Clock Town. Well, you start off inside Clock Where are you going? I don't want to go there. That's the canyons. I'm not ready for the canyons yet. Really quickly, I'm going to show you... I'm going to go into Clock Town. And here you are in Clock Town. We're going to go to the observatory and get the next one. Now, you can do this anytime you want to, but I decided since I'm doing a heart container episode, might as well do this one. No, get out. you got to stock to him. Don't get out your arena. Remember the code. Five, one, four, three, two. There you go. Kid gets out of the way. And what the hell? I might as well go back for my 100 rupees. Might as well. I need all the rupees I can get, right? 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 Right. Alright, swim the murky waters of the secret hideout of the bomb squad. Until you come out to the other side. You know what to do here. Now we go, now that we got bombs, we can actually lay down a bomb instead of using our face to blow it up. And there you have it. There's the hundred rupees. Let's grab it and go. There we go. Now we should be stocked up on rupees, you betcha. Alright, swim the water again. Watch out for that nasty spider. Swim, Link! Swim like your life depends on it, boy! And we'll just go this way, because there's that other spider. I really don't feel like dealing with him. Now you can break that bubble or that balloon two different ways. Get out your arrow. Nice and easy straight across shot. I don't even need to worry about the rupees this time. Or the magic, really. But you know what? We forgot something. Oh, we totally forgot something. I'm going to show you that too in this video. But first, heart container. Remember those fairies we picked up in Snowhead? We still got them. We got to turn them in before the third day is over. Or before the game is reset. Good thing I didn't reset time, otherwise I would have been angry. And you wouldn't like me when I'm angry. You've already seen me angry at the Octorock game. You don't want to see me angry, folks. Now here's what we're going to do. We're going to point this view over here. I'm going to zoom in a little bit, maybe get this guy's attention. There he is. See him? He's coming up around the bend. That's the one from the clock town. Now try to follow him along, and we're going to try to zero in on where he's going to land. He's got the extra heart container we need, so watch him. Watch his pattern. He's going to come around this way. Now get ready to face 
You're gonna lose them right here, that's normal. And there are lots of other things you can see, and you can only go like so far. So bring it back this way and zoom in. Where is it? Right there in that hole. He's gonna come back around, so once you got him locked on, there he is, see? Make sure you try to follow him as best as you can to that hole. Watch him go in, then quit. That's where we're going. You have to watch him go into the hole, otherwise he won't be there. So let's go back to that area. No, don't. I, I prefer to use the bunny hood in this area with water. Or, hell's bells. I think. No, we can't do that. It only works on the outside in, not the inside out. So let's put on our bunny hood and book it on out of there. Because so we got a heart container that will not wait. Well, it will, actually. And we got plenty of rupees, so make sure you carry at least 100 rupees with you. Maybe even 150 for good measure. Because you will need it to buy a heart container from him. Alright, he didn't quite make the ledge, but that's okay. Shake yourself off. Climb up here and go to the exit immediately. And now, here we are. I'm gonna leave this area here. Right down there. And we're gonna exit. Right out of the east, but we could actually go this way. It's closer to the observatory. Running, 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 keep that motor running. Gonna get a heart container. Alright, I know it's sappy lyrics, but hey, you know what? Sappy lyrics make the world go round, didn't you know that? Of course you did. Why else would you listen to Weird Al Yankovic? Anyway. <laughs> anyway. Here we are, and listen to that scratching. He is hidden over here. We found his secret hideout. I don't like that jar. Talk to him. What are you doing here? This is my secret storage unit. I'll sell you a piece of heart if you just keep this place a secret. Oh, so he's trying to barter 150 rupees out of you? Say, no thanks. No good? In that case, you leave me no choice. 100. Take it. Now he's going to leave in a hussy because his secret hideout has been revealed. Now, you can go back to the observatory and watch where he's going to go next. But all he will do is just get upset. You've already bartered with him on a heart piece. He's not going to give you another deal. So it's not really worth it to follow where he's going to go. But that's fine and dandy. Because it's just a waste of our time if we did follow him. Especially when he's not going to do anything for us. His work is done with us. Okay, so that's the other heart container, folks. And did I have anything else to show you? I'm trying to remember. Yes! The fairies. Let's go to Snowhead. Going straight to Snowhead really quickly to show you the great fairy and where she dwells. Make sure you do this before you leave Snowhead. We need to go right back to Snowhead. This time we don't have to go in the dungeon itself, we just have to go around the dungeon. And I'll show you exactly where we're going. Remember that, Goron? He's now wide awake, and he's happier because, well, he seems... I'm happier if you talk to him, but I really don't want to talk to him right now. You notice that the snowballs have now been replaced by rabid, ravenous ravens, or crows. Whatever you want to call them. They are rabid, they are ravenous, they are vindictive, and they just want a piece of your skin. Oh. Hey. I did not know you could not climb up that without being Goron Link. Okay, so get Goron Link going. Up. The ramp. No, it's not working. I have to step back a few paces. Yeah, I got you. Alright, so now that you got a running start, ride like you've never ridden before up the ramp. Only we're going this way. And there it is. The Great Fairy Cave. Welcome to it. And uh, all the fairies you collected in the dungeon are now going to be assembled into that one great fairy with the tremendous green hair. But she looks just like the others. Just as slutty and just as giggly as the others. And still having the same pointed breasts. I think it's genetic in their family. What do you think? 
Great Fairy of Wisdom, oh, thank you for your wisdom, indeed. You're going to enhance my magic power and give me a bigger bar, and we do need it. Because our third installment of Link is going to need all the magic you can get. And there you go. Revitalize yourself! But um, Your magic power has now been enhanced. Yeah, send your giggly ass back to the water. I don't need you anymore. So that is fun with Goron Link. Thanks for tuning in this episode, and on our next episode we're going to restart time and see about doing some Milk Road activities. In the next episode of Let's Play, I'm Sonic Glue Darkfold. Thanks for watching.